we now come to the continuation of our discussion on essential requisites. The, as we remember, the essential requisites for contracts would be consent object and cost or consideration. So we have discussed about consent. The very essence of consent uh, pertains to legal capacity, uh, possessing legal capacity, uh, consent freely and intelligently given, and acceptance as to the object and the cost and consideration. The second requisite would now be object. So we will discuss now on object as an essential requisite of contract. In accordance with Article 1347, it provides that all things which are not outside the commerce of men, including future things, may be the object of a contract. No. It fully defines or it fully provides the things with our, which are the object of a contract by exclusion. So anything outside the commerce of men, no, uh, including future things, and also, with respect to Article 1348, impossible things or services cannot be object of contract. So it is clear that things that are outside the commerce of men and likewise impossible things or services cannot be the object of contracts. All other things, including future things, may be the object of contracts. No? And also rights, which are not, intransmissible, ibig sabihin they could not be, uh, they could be transferred, may also be the object of contract. And however, with respect to future inheritance, no, uh, it could not be the subject of contract. Kaya lang, if it pertains to inchoate right, as to the inheritance. It means na patay na yung deceased and the heir mag na lang yung settlement of estate. Uh, then yung kanyang inheritance rights could be the subject of a contract. No? It could be the subject of deed of assignment or, or yung the property that covers yung inheritance. Inheritance rights could be the subject of a deed of sale. In order that things may be the object of a contract, it must be within the commerce of men. It means that it could be the subject of commercial transaction or it could be the subject of appropriation. It means that it could be the subject of, it could be conveyed, no? like it could be the subject of a contract of sale. It could be subject to, to lease or for uh, other contracts like comodatum. And it must not be impossible legally or physically. It must be in existence or capable of coming into existence. So it does not pertain to objects that are present now. It could be future objects, no? future things like yung the crops that will be harvested by next cropping season or the vaccine that would be developed for, uh, for the Indian variant, for example, of, of COVID-19, or the spacecraft that would be developed that would bring uh, humanity or that would bring men to, to Mars, for example. Those could be the object of contracts. Although they are not presently existent, but they have the capacity, they are being capable of uh, coming into existence. And likewise, it must be determinate or determinable. 
without the need of a new contract. It must be specific or at least they are segregated in a way that they could be identifiable or they could be determined from, from other things of the same class. The object of a contract is its subject matter. No, it could pertain to thing, services, or, or rights, which are the object of obligation. As a general rule, all the rights may be the object of a contract. No, rights, these are intangible. Hindi mo na hawakan, but you could enforce them as if meron kang pinanghahawakan. No, and like yung rights over shares of stocks no uh, hindi mo naman hawak yung shares of stocks mo except for yung except yung uh, certificate of shares of stocks no but uh, as there are your rights over yung shares of stocks these are intangible hindi mo nahawakan yung shares of stocks but you have a right over them that you could convey and you could exercise claim over it. No? And the only exceptions are intransmissible no? rights that by their nature or stipulation or provision of law, they could not be transferred. They are intransmissible. Um, as we have said, Article 1347 makes it clear that things which are not outside of men, which are outside the, which are not outside the commerce of men, um, could be the object of the contract. So those outside the commerce of men uh, could not be the the subject of object of a contract. In relation to this. Article 1420, which is a provision on property, which is still within the civil code, it provides that it provides for the things that are considered property of public dominion. When it is when a property is of public dominion, then it is outside the commerce of men. And so it could not be the object of a contract. Uh, examples of this, as listed for in Article 420, under the provisions of the NCC or the Civil Code on Property, uh, it provides that those intended for public use, no, such as roads, canals, rivers, torrents, ports and bridges constructed by the state, banks, shores, yeah, those belong to the state without being for public use and are intended for some public service or for the development of national wealth. These are public dominion and they could not be the object of a contract. So yung Pasig River, mga ganon, yung mga ed, yung EDSA, highway, uh, mga ganon, they could not be the object of, of a private contract. No? All other property of the state, which is not the character, which is not of public dominion, is patrimonial property. Um, yung sa constitution, it provides for, um, it defines what could be alienated and not alienated. Section 2 of Article 12 of the Philippine Constitution provides that all lands of public domain, waters, minerals, coal, petroleum, ito mga, all forces of potential energy, fisheries, no, are owned by the state. And so these are outside the commerce of men also. With the exception of agricultural land, all other resources shall not be alienated. No, these things, yung mga, all lands of public domain, uh, like rivers and everything and even yung waters minerals petroleum kaya nga yung usually the development of yung energy like coal petroleum like if you have the malampaya these are undertaken by the government and of course sometimes in partnership with private entities but essentially these are for the development of 
of, of the government. No? And these are not for appropriation for private ownership. Uh, some portion of agricultural lands, no, uh, they could not be alienated. And some uh, could be alienated depending on the classification of these agricultural lands. Lands of public domain are classified into agricultural, forest, timber, mineral, national parks. No? Uh, agricultural lands uh, could either be inalienable or alienable. Uh, there are agricultural lands that are alienable, then they could be within the commerce of men. No, but as to the national parks, mga mineral lands, no, mga forest timber land, they are not within the commerce of men. Property of public dominion still can no longer intended for public use or for public service shall form part of patrimonial property of the state. No, so. Yung sa property of the state and even yung mga property of provinces, cities, municipalities, they could either be for public use or patrimonial property. No? So kapag of public use or of public dominion, they are not within the commerce of men. Pero pag patrimonial property, they could either be, depending on classification, alienable or not alienable. If that patrimonial property is classified as alienable property, then it becomes within the commerce of men. Property for public use in the provinces, cities, municipalities, no provincial roads, city streets, municipal streets, squares, fountains, public waters, uh, promenades, public works. Uh, these are not within the commerce of men. So walang magbebenta ng, ng kalye. No? Uh, yung kalye, hindi po pwedeng patituluhan. No? Ang pwedeng patituluhan, yung right of way, pero hindi yung mga barangay roads, mga municipal roads, mga provincial roads, hindi po pwede yung mga ganun. Uh, Article 502, particularly defines what, what are of public dominion, no? Rivers and their natural beds, continuous intermittent waters of springs, brooks, uh, water rising and lands of public dominion, lakes and lagoons, rain waters, no? Um, subterranean waters and public lands, waters found in the zone of public works, yeah, waters, Wastewaters of fountains, yun. Uh, you just read through these things. These are considered of public dominion. Also, uh, all things, no, not only present, but future things could be the object of a contract. You relate this with Article 1461 and 1462 which are provisions under the contract of sale. Article 1461 uh, provides that things having potential existence may be the object of sale or the efficacy of the sale of a mere hope or expectancy, they could be the object of a contract, particularly a contract of sale. But the sale of vain hope or expectancy is void, no? Yung things having potential existence, uh, they are things na they, they are not presently in existence, no? but they could have the potential of, of having existence. Like, halimbawa, yung... Buntis yung, yung aso, no? Yung ipinagbubuntis niya na tuta, 
that is that is a thing having a potential existence yung tuta na ipapanganak pa lang no and kahit na sa loob pa lang ng chan ng ng dog ay yung toto na yan it could not be the object it could now be the object of a contract of sale pwede nang o oh, pag nanganak yung tuta no uh, akin yung isa bayaran ko ng 2000 sa iyo no lalong lalo na di ba pag may mga breed yung mga aso you you usually do that or yung sale of mere hope or expectancy like the development for example of vaccine for covid nung wala pang na-develop ng covid no uh, it's it's not sure kung kung as to its efficacy at kung kailan magagawa ito but there is an expectancy that it would come into existence no that it would be developed so now that could be the object of a contract uh, but the sale of vain hope or expectancy is void ibig sabihin there's no way that the object would become a future thing uh, or it we could expect that it would come into existence like halimbawa uh, the object of a contract with respect to yung ipapanganak na tuta ng male na dog that is a vain hope or expectancy because you know na it could not really be na mangyayari that yung male dog would give birth sa tuta yung mga ganun or ano pa uh, yung anything that it is really impossible no that it would come into existence and so it becomes vain hope uh, walang katuturan walang pag-asa that it would really come into existence no um Article 1462 provides that the goods which form the subject of a contract of sale may be either existing goods owned or possessed by the seller or goods to be manufactured. No? Those uh, future goods or raised or acquired by the seller after the perfection of the contract. So it means that even goods na ima manufacture pa lang or even yung mga goods na ipoproduce pa lang they could be the object of a contract no uh, with respect also uh, we have mentioned that services no and goods they may they must not be contrary to law morals good customs public order or public policy and so you relate this with article 1459 the things you no know, which which is a subject of a contract particularly the contract of sale must be licit you no know? and with respect to a contract to sell to of sale the vendor must also have a right to transfer the ownership at the time of delivery thing and property they are used interchangeably uh, with respect to the civil code however there is a technical term for thing and there is a technical term for property kasi pag pag thing uh, it is more broad no kasi pag sinabi mong property yung prop property is subject to appropriation or conveyance no it involves uh yung mga things that are subject of contract of sale or the subject of mortgage yung mga ganun subject to appropriation you could convey them samantalang pag thing they could either be subject to appropriation or not uh they could include things that are of not within the commerce of men pero pag sinabi mo kasing property 
usually it has the connotation that they are within the commerce of men. Classification of things, there's no use belonging to no one. No, yan yung mga single walang jowa. No, ah, uh, res communes belonging to everyone. Yan yung maraming jowa. No, pag res alikuhos belonging to someone. Yan yung merong jowa. Okay, so pag res no use, um, uh, it is for for everyone's enjoyment. No, pag res communes, ah, uh, it's it's common common property no but pag res alikuhos it belongs to it is subject to private ownership uh, belonging to no one no like fish uh, and objects that have been abandoned abandoned no and wild animals na birds yun uh, these are considered res no use uh, res communes belonging to everyone common property no it is for the enjoyment for all mankind like the air that we breathe the wind yung sunlight and starlight no o yung joko kanina dun sa Res nullius and res communes. Huwag niyo masyadong dibdibin. Choco lang yun. Okay? Then, res ad kuhos belonging to someone. Like, ito yung property, no? These are objects tangible or intangible which are owned privately, no? Either collectively or individually. Uh, they are, strictly speaking, they are considered yung property. Like your book, your parcel of land, your shares of stock. Classification, as so mobility and non-mobility, they could either be movable or personal property or immovable or real property. Uh, but movable, you could transfer it from one place to another, but immovable, you could not transfer it from one place to another public dominion or ownership like rivers but private dominion like fountain pen public dominion again we clarify it is outside the commerce of men as so alienability within the commerce of men or outside the commerce of men as existence present or future no uh both present and future property may be the object of a contract of sale uh, as to materiality tangible or intangible no uh nahawakan saka hindi nahahawakan as to dependence principal or accessory it could stand on its own or pwedeng naka kabit siya sa ibang bagay. Fungible or non-fungible. Pag fungible, it is capable of substitution by other things no? of the same quantity and quality. A non-fungible, incapable of substitution. Fungible, like katulad ng palay, rice, no? mga oil, kapag uh, nawala, you could always substitute them of the same quantity and, and quality. Pero pag non-fungible, katulad ng uh, for black fortuner with, with plate number SMMC1234, it, not, it is not capable of substitution because these are specific property. No? Iisa lang siya. Generic or specific, no? Pa generic, one referring to a group of class. Again, parang yung uh, sinandoming rice, no? O kaya specific, one referring to a single unique object. Katulad ng example natin sa Toyota Fortuner with plate number 
uh, SMMC 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so whether it's the custody or of the court, no? In custodial lehis, in the custody of the court or free property, not in the custodial lehis, not in within the uh, not within the object of attachment or under a rate of execution. Okay. As to characteristic utility for the satisfaction, a property is for the satisfaction of moral or economic ones. No, uh, it is for our own use. It is for the use of the person having the enjoyment and ownership of the property. Susceptibility of appropriation, it could be subject of conveyance. And individuality or substantivity, no, it can exist by itself and not merely as a part or a whole. No. Article 414, all things which are or maybe the object of appropriation. Ito ngayon yung the subject, pag sinabi mong object of appropriation, it is considered property and it could be the subject of a contract of sale. It could be immovable or real property, movable or personal property. So you just take note of this. These are considered uh, immovable property under Article 415 land buildings. It presupposes that these are alienable property or private property. Otherwise, if it is not alienable property, then it is not within the commerce of men. It presupposes that under 415, 415 these are within the commerce of men. No? Land, buildings, roads, and constructions, all kinds adhere to the so, yung road dito, yung sa right of way, no? Trees, plants, growing fruits, no? When they form part of an immovable. Everything attached to an immovable, no? In the building or land by the owner, machinery, receptacles, yan. Animal houses, vegan houses, fertilizer, mines, quarries, no? Docks and structures, contracts for public works and servitudes. The following things are deemed to be personal property, you know, those movables, uh, susceptible of appropriation. Real property, forces of nature which are brought under the control by science. Katulad ng yung air, it is not within the commerce of men. Pero pag, nasa, pag it becomes oxygen, nasa oxygen tank na yan, it is already under the control of science. Or kapag yung air or yung wind ay na-convert siya into energy, no? And now it becomes appropriation. O kaya na-convert siya into electricity. O kaya, di ba yung sa mga dams, uh, Yung water naman sa dams and lakes, these are not within the commerce of men. But if you create, once there is created or produced na electricity or energy out from them, then they are now the subject of appropriation. No? And so they become personal property. Impossible things or services cannot be the objects of contract. So, yung impossibility of object of contract, they could be physical or legal. No, but physical, when the thing or service no cannot exist or be performed. No, they could be absolute. No, when the act cannot be done in any case or relative when it arises from special circumstances of the case or special conditions. No? Pag physical, katulad nun, hindi ka pwedeng bumuhay ng patay. So like um, the contract na bubuhay ng patay, 
that is an impossible contract, no? Or legal when the thing or service is contrary to law. When the object of a contract, for example, is to kill someone, then that is contrary to law, no? Or the object of a contract is for one woman to be the common law wife, no? In exchange, in consideration of a sum of money, uh, papayag siya na maging kabit or uh, in exchange for, for some money, then those could not be the object of a contract no, because of legal impossibility. Um, Article 1349 provides that the object of every contract must be determined as to its kind. No? Um, in relation to this, with respect to the provision on sale, Article 1460 provides that a thing is determined when it is particularly designated or physically segregated from all, from all others of the same class. No? Um, the requisite that the thing be determined is satisfied if at the time of the contract, the thing is capable of being made determined no? without the necessity of a new or further agreement between the parties. So it means na for it to be determined, katulad nung kat sinabi natin kan, it must be specific, but it, these are generic objects where they are designated by their class, like rice, uh, oil, water, yung mga ganun. You could make them determinate by physically segregating them, no? How by through weight or other means of measurement. So it now becomes three kilos of sinandoming rice, no? then that becomes now determinant, although it is, uh, it is generic object. O kaya, uh, one kaban of rice or three liters of oil, yung mga ganon. So I think that would be all for our discussion. Discussion on object. Our next discussion would be on uh, cost or consideration of contracts.